Welcome everyone to Junos Wedo Official. I do hope indeed that you guys are enjoying this video reaction. And of course, thank you for supporting Junos Wedo. Of course, thank you, of course, for sharing the videos and for making the requests, the various requests. Of course, don't forget, please subscribe to Junos Wedo and of course, share the videos with your friends, okay? And of course, if you can, please support the Thai subtitle. We have to add on the Thai subtitle to the videos. And in order to do so, we have to pay for it. So if you can support, the donation link to the PayPal is in the description below, okay? Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, so we are going to react to a video, um, N-A-R-A-C-556, made in Thailand. It's a, it's a gun, it's a type of gun, a military gun. Of course, you guys told me to check it out, so now we're going to check it out. Um, it's a new type of gun, I understood. Um, very modern, very strong. It's almost like a smart gun. So let's check it out, let's see. So I guess this is it. <laughs> Sadly, it's not telling us in English how many bullets per second or something, but that those those shells are spitting out. Look at how perfect the shells are coming out from the gun. Like they're all going at one angle, not randomly spitting out. And it's so precise. Wow. And as you can see, they are supporting it in the shoulder. It's a very small gun. It looks very light too. It looks very light. Wow. And if you notice, it's not doing a lot of recoil. Nice and straight. It's fully made in Thailand, 100%. 100% made in Thailand, guys. So of course, that, 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 that's absolutely great. Not quite sure. This is a, 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 a okay. So they 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 showing not closer. So what well, this is break hidden. This is a longer version. This one looks much longer. Looks like a longer type. Not quite sure why it's black. Oh, we're seeing the where the bullet is. So what, what we basically saw where, where it made the, the fire. One hand? What? Oh gosh. Yo, one hand. So these are the different type size, I guess. Damn. Look at the same gun, but just that it's extended. No, this one is different. It's a bit different. But did you saw the guy did that with one hand? Wait. Let me see if he's gonna put that under the water and shoot. Ah! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Yo! That was absolutely amazing! This is a true army gun. True army gun. Damn. They should do more water shots. That was so cool. That was cool. They should do more water shots. And here we can see here they're assembling it from start. I do wish they were putting the names of the parts as they are going about. But maybe it's for um, privacy reasons they're not naming them. But he's basically assembling the entire gun. That takes patience, yo. That takes patience to build that and put that together. You mean the guy's gonna build the entire gun right there on the table? So it looks like he's building the trigger area. So far, he's getting there. I 
That's cool. Wait, so can this gun be built for 3D printing? Because I know with 3D printing now, they, they're able to like, you can actually print a gun. So I'm not quite sure if this one can be done also. Okay, so so far, it looks like the butt of the gun is completed. This guy have a lot of knowledge to put this entire thing together, man. I wonder if he was part of the team that um, designed it. Or maybe he have years of experience in the army, um, weaponry or something. You know it would be cool if they have this type of gun in like Free Fire or one of the games where you are, can select it. You know what I mean? That would be cool having a type of, like that as an option in the game itself. Building up that entire gun, that's cool. Getting closer, we are seeing the finishing even better. Just snap the butt of the gun to the barrel. That is yeah. I'm familiar with the assembling process of the Glock 17, but not this um, army type of guns or rifles. Gonna test, do some more testing. Wow. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Man. Making some nice smoke. Water gun. Land everywhere. There's no limit on this one. No limit in the world. So you could do single shots and you can hold it down to just shoot consistently. That is wow. So they're gonna bury it with sand. So that means you can really like if you're down on the ground and it's like a rainy day or if you have to bury your weapon in a secret area, right? For when the other um team I guess when you're an army you can bury your weapon somewhere where you know they might pass the enemy might pass and just when you look like you don't have any weapon you have a gun and it's still working <laughs> that is amazing are they gonna what mud and it's still gonna work Oh gosh, that would be that's cool though for real. And even if the mod is gonna go between, yo, <laughs> that is amazing. That is a very strong. So the same trigger. The same trigger is causing it to shoot rapidly. Just by adding on all of the modern stuff and it will still continue to continue to work. That is impressive. That is impressive. That speaks very good for this weapon. It's a testament of how good and reliable it is. Because you know, being out there, um 
during the war or during a, a, a raid or something it's not always a nice weather condition sometimes you have to go at the worst weather condition just so that you could um, be incognito and you need to have that strong and powerful gun consistently not giving up on you because your life literally depends on it and uh, narak arms narak arms industry of course this one was requested thank you so very much made in thailand 100 percent made in thailand you guys have made this request and i'm so grateful of course don't forget to support the channel and of course go ahead and check out the original video it will be in the comment section okay thank you bye guys